Okay. Let's see what he's got on this floppy disk. Five Nights at Freddy's 8. I need a <laughs> it's the... It's the answer to Cicada 3301. Oh, okay. It's, um... So this is... Was for the external reader. It's this thing. Uh, wait, that's the glyph. Oh, oh ho hold no. up, hold up, hold up. I think... Is it cheating if I know it by memory? Because I think I know what this one is. Stone? Got it. Yeah, there you go. Stone, okay. That was completely... What? What? Oh, no. oh, shit. Did the whole thing just corrupt? Is this like a senior detective thing? Wait. You have encountered a fatal error? Oh, my God. Wait. Okay, I, I don't know if that's because I did it out of order when the game didn't want me to. What's the fatal error? <laughs> Stone. This is, a, this is double as a bomb? I'm doing this again. Look at that! That's creepy. I- I can't even think right now. Is fatal error, like, typical computer language? No. <laughs> That's like... Coin-operated self-destruct machine. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking planktons. Floppy disk. Okay, we'll try that again in a second. Uh, let's try calling Sheila Schultz. I think it was one five zero oh, five 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 one two two two. Wow, that is... Um, pretty impressive. It's only like an 11-digit phone number. Chaco Canyon Cultural oh. Center. Hi, I'm hoping to speak to someone about the theft that happened there recently. We got through. Are you the press? No, I'm a detective investigating a similar crime in Washington, D.C. This is Sheila Schultz, the director. What would you like to know? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. I understand you had some rare Maya artifacts stolen recently. That's right. It's a terrible loss. And the police here have no leads. Beach Hill was robbed, too. We lost one of our prized jade carvings. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm wondering if the robberies are connected. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident at Chaco Canyon? I just want to point out the difference between good and bad phone calls is Mac from Keep It Real was a good phone call, and this is a really bland phone call. This voice actress is just not knowing it. Uh, I think she's okay. I heard the thief left a red handprint at the scene of the crime. Is that true? Yes. It was very gruesome. It looked like blood. Mm. But according to the police analysis, the print was made with a mercuric sulfide paste. Whoa. Mercuric sulfide? Cinnabar? Do you know of any symbolic meaning attached to a red hand? Don't walk. Don't go there. Talk to the hand, as my 15-year-old would say. Really. I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> okay, maybe she's not the best voice actress. <laughs> so, the thief cleaned out an entire display case? Only the center's most prized pieces. The case contained five pre-Columbian artifacts that were excavated right from this area. Five. Jeez. Which piece would you say is the greatest loss for the center? Definitely the jade carving. It was Ooh. highly unusual. There was a glyph on it that no one could translate. Until we hired Henrik Vanderhuyn, that is. Hey, His wait a minute. His opinion was that it's Mayan in origin, and that it may have been a place name glyph for this area. As you can imagine, we regarded it as something of a regional treasure. Dude, wait. Henrik helped out here, too, and their jade carving got stolen. Hmm. Has he been stealing all of the jade carvings? He's leaving a path of destruction behind him. Do you know that Henrik Vanderhuyn works for Beach Hill now? Yes, I know. His departure was a great loss for us. God, me Do you know too. That he, if he confessed left me. from to stealing, <laughs> to stealing a jade carving, much like yours. <laughs> Was Henrik still working at Chaco Canyon when the theft occurred? No, oh. it happened just a few days after he left. Oh, well. I remember because after the police left, the staff and I were so depressed, we went into the lounge and pigged out on the rest of Henrik's farewell cake. Ah, uh, damn. Was Henrik on good terms with Chaco Canyon when he left? Well, it was awfully abrupt. As soon as he heard about that monolith, boom. He was gone. For some reason, he just had to go study it. We weren't exactly happy about it, but it's not like quitting is against the law. Hmm. Do you recall having some appraisal work done by an art dealer by the name of Taylor Sinclair? How could I forget? <laughs> he went on and on about the impossibly rare artifacts he could get for us. I said, are you an art dealer or a smuggler? <laughs> but he assured me that the provenance documents would all be in order. Still. I never did any further business with him. He just seemed... slippery. Girl, I know. Could you send me a photo of that jade carving so I can take a look at the glyph? I'm afraid I sent our only print off to the insurance company. They said they'd return it, but who knows when our claim will be processed. 
I'm sorry. Mm. That's a shame. Thanks a million, Sheila. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. That was one of my least favorite phone calls. It wasn't that bad. So let's try this one more time. We still have a fatal error. I, I don't know if this is the game's Dude, way of saying kind of... that it's not ready for it. It's definitely not. <laughs> that's creepy. Maybe I'll, I'm just going to say that that's probably a senior detective thing. Because I'm pretty sure stone is, in fact, the right thing to do. We should, yeah, sleep ahead a day so we can talk to Henrik and talk to Joanna. Henrik opens at 10 a.m., doesn't he? 10 to that 4? That sounds right, yeah. Yeah. This is some... It's the very, bomb. This is some very good hotel music. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, Washington Metro. We'll start off by going to the hospital. Howdy. Oh, he's still asleep. Uh-oh. Well, we can throw it on this memory board, at least. Do we have anything else for him? Man, this game has a very small inventory. He has zero children. He does have an ex-wife, though, doesn't he? <laughs> I know, because she's on our Discord. <laughs> okay. Um... Joanna. Alright, Joanna. And uh, I need to borrow... also needs us to recover the Yes, uh, Joanna, can I please have some Providence documents? Can we just go in? Is she not here? She should be. I just don't... No, she's our... Okay, wait. Okay, that's a, that's a freebie. That's a freebie. Where are these Providence documents? You snooze, you lose, Joanna. I'm about to steal valuable documents. Providence docs. <laughs> oh my god, wait, we're carving. actually just taking this? And gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Something about this seems unethical. <laughs> sure it's unethical. What's your point? <laughs> uh, There's actually a lot of stuff in here. I'm... Here, don't... Isn't this what we want to take? I don't okay. know, it's not like you take anything. Yeah. Let me read through this real quick. Identifying marks. Glyph, combination of a call shield, Lord Glyph, Emix, one disc on the forehead, site of excavation, unknown. Year of excavation, unknown. That's that's not very promising for provenance. First known record of ownership, 1940, given by Rupert Starr to the Serpentine Gallery in Los Angeles, California. What are the rest of these about? Transfer of title, Pakal carving. Rupert Star, and there's a couple of signatures on here. Sold to Felix Peterson. So this is every time that the Pakal carving changed hands over the years. This mm -hmm. was 1955, $810,000. Oh, That's tacky. Bertram Vandelay. Vandelay Pharmaceuticals. That's a name we've heard before. Yeah. How about that? Dear Taylor, as you may have heard, my longtime clients, Felix and Miranda Peterson, both passed away this summer in the heat wave. That's a damn shame. Felix was 89 and Miranda was 91, and by all accounts, they had lived extraordinary full lives. Still, it's too bad their air conditioning unit went on the blank when it did. And I and all the citizens of the Greenwich will miss them dearly. As you know, the Petersons had no children. Per their instructions, I am to arrange the auction of their estate and donate the proceeds to charity. As we also know, the Petersons had a fabulous art collection, including the pre-Columbian artifacts that may be of interest to you. Auction will be held February 7th. Hmm. Okay, so Va it was auctioned off? Yes, and then this is the bill sale from the auction. Who was it sold to, though? Probably Taylor. Pre-Columbian, blah, blah, blah. It seems blah. unethical for this to be auctioned off. Yes, to Taylor Sinclair and, and Joanna, Joanna Riggs. Joanna Riggs? For one million? Oh my goodness! Jeez. How did they afford that? Didn't Joanna say that they didn't? That she couldn't? Y yeah, she just, like, kind of skirted around it. This is very interesting. And doesn't Taylor make 10% commission, is what he said? Yeah, he just made 100k, oh my god. And he even joked about that. Too. Okay, we, we just oh, wait took- Wait a minute, no, he didn't sell it, he bought it for that I got it twisted. We took the whole thing with us. I got it twisted, so wow. You know what? Man, I guess his job pays well. Yeah. Anything else we can look at in here? Um, On her desk, maybe? What a lovely shade of grey. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that a- Doobie? No, I don't. I don't believe it is. Let's see what else is going on here. Um. Oh, her desk. That's another thing. Uh. That's a, that's Wait, a key to a display we... case, I think. Yeah. Oh, there was a display case that we needed to open. Yeah. B H E. Ceramic bowl. Diego de Landa ornamental carving. That doesn't seem too important. Maybe I'm not reading into it good enough. Okay, is that everything that was on her desk then? 
think it was. Oh, this is cool. I, I love I love a good map because I have a terrible perception of geography in my head. Mm. Tenochtitlan. I remember that name from a long time ago in grade school. Uh, can we read that? No, we can't. Okay. Um. So I'm I'm ready to go ahead and hand this stuff over to Henrik or to Alejandro. But I wanted to check real quick. Since this is an item and it's museum relevant, I'm just curious if maybe for some reason the game would let us put it on the memory board? Yeah, stone. See? Oh, perhaps we had to look at that. See, now I'm curious if it works when we put it in. Okay, I'll try it. Um, I guess we can't put that down. Pardon our dog in the back, something excited him. Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. Oh, really? You recognize the riddle then? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. Yeah, we saw That's... it already. Oh, it wait, has he's something oh. to do with the plot at the museum. Nancy. It said he's allergic I'm to chicken. I'm sure of it. How can you be allergic to chicken? <laughs> I don't know. Poor man. What is the prison of stone? It's a tomb. I didn't Carl read it. called it a prison because it was designed to prevent the whisperer's soul from entering the underworld. What? It's creepy. That's kind of creepy. The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name. But I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that oh. greatly angered the call because of the way it depicted his ascent that, to the throne. That was the girl we read about. Yes, it was. What did the scribe say? That Pakal had bad fashion? From the age of 12, when mm -hmm. he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then, the Whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite <laughs> a blow to Pakal's image. <laughs> Joffrey moment. So he put her in a stone prison. So he put her in a stone prison? To the Carl netherworld. Carl swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Oh, oh man. He really remembers all the fine details now. <laughs> Are you, the connections, though. Wait, Henrik. A prison of stone? We're not the talking about the monolith, dun, 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 dun. That's the idea. Whoa, so there's theoretically a skeleton in there? Theoretically, or... it's a it's a great big tomb. Do you think the monolith can be opened? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. Uh, this is where my memory fizzles out. If I could only figure out why I took the Bacal. Hmm. This is important information, Henrik. Don't you think the police should be informed? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Wow. Um, interesting. Well, there's a lot to talk to him about the now. The entire game just changed now. Yeah. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. That's helpful. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Wow. <laughs> so maybe there's not as much to talk to him as I thought there was. You wouldn't try to frame her, would you? Who knows? <laughs> Jeez. I don't suppose you have a Nahuatl word for snake floating around in your mind. Bypassing memory bag Alejandro. Somewhere, do you? Who knows? Okay. Hmm. Sensing a lot of reused lines here. Let's just Gloves off. Have you ever been part of a smuggling racket? I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't even need to know that last one. All right, that's enough, Henry. You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. Okay then. Uh, wow, that that, that a lot just changed right there. Let's go finish this dirty deed with Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we can get arrested. Hello, we can't Nancy. get arrested. You have it's a special community. delivery for me, I hope. Here you go. Promise me that you'll take good care of these documents. A lot of interesting. You gotta place I them down. I'm, all right, I'm taking a picture this time. I want to know what's on that notepad. In the next episode, I'll tell you if it's anything important. Okay, here we go. I'm taking a picture of it. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? Tell me the word. A deal's a deal. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. Hmm. Muchos gracias. Muchos gracias. Gotta go. Adios, Nancy. Oh, we're buddies now. <laughs> All it took was a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Is Joanna back? Uh, no, I'm not sure yet. Joanna? 
No? Even after we took everything from her office? Hmm. Maybe there's still something left we need to find. Who knows? Okay. We'll call it soon. I just want to take another look at Henrik's notes. After finding out what we did. Because, um... I want to know what the name of this, uh... Th person was. The, the lady. The, the whisperer he's calling her. Oh, we can also use the key that we got from Joanna's desk. Siwapia Amakali. Oh, Siwapia. That's the word that we heard from, um... Alejandro it means princess or lady, so oh lady, God, right. lady Amakali wrote an account of the Maya that somehow defamed Pakal's name. So Lady Amakali is a legend of the Mayan descendants, then. And they claim that and she her will... corpse is allegedly in the monolith. That's what they're saying. Apparently, she will haunt the hills for centuries and won't rest until her writings are unearthed. That's nuts. Siwapia Amakali. Fascinating. Um. Yeah, this case just cracked open. Any voicemail? Wait, there was a note for us. There was a note. We have voicemail too. Okay, where's the note? Nancy, the police called. They want me to go down to the station for further questioning. Uh. Something about an anonymous tip. I wonder who that could have been. Oh, and what have we done? Damn it, Alejandro! Why? Why why are you getting my, my mentor arrested? Hold down the fort while I'm gone, if you please. I'm leaving my office open if you need anything. Oh, well, lucky, I'll have you know that I actually just abetted the man who I'm assuming got you in prison. Did did she use her one phone call on us? I'll bet she did. Nancy? Damn it. Oh. The police are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. The BOD? To, to make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you? Please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him. If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To replay messages. Damn it, lady. Dang, we gotta call Franklin. <sighs> Maybe next time? Wait a minute, are we in charge of the museum now? Oh my god, I think you're right. We by, just started working here. <laughs> by the chain of command, we, we, are, we are now in charge of this we place. We don't even have a pay grade. My first order of business will be to pull the fire alarm. Can I pull the fire alarm? No, that's not in this game. <laughs> okay, um, well, join us next time as we, uh, prepare the ancient Maya exhibit by ourselves and also try to solve a centuries-old mystery. See you around, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>